What comes to mind when you think about millionaires? Luxury cars, sprawling mansions, extravagant lifestyles. Well, you're in for a surprise. Today, we're debunking common millionaire myths guided by insights from the book The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas Stanley and William Danko. This eye-opening read uncovers the true habits and characteristics of millionaires, which often contradict the media's portrayal. So are you ready to challenge your perception of wealth? Let's dive in and discover the real traits of the millionaire next door. Firstly, millionaires don't spend as much as you might think. The glitz and glamour we often associate with millionaires is a far cry from the reality. Stanley and Danko's findings reveal that many of America's millionaires live a surprisingly frugal lifestyle. They're not buying the most expensive cars or dining at the fanciest restaurants. Instead, they're meticulously planning their budgets and cutting unnecessary expenses. They understand the value of every dollar and the power of compounded savings over time. Effective budgeting is a key habit of these millionaires. They don't splurge when their income increases, instead, they save and invest. It's not about how much you earn, it's about how much you keep. So, if you want to join the ranks of these millionaires, start by taking a good hard look at your spending habits. The first step to becoming a millionaire is not earning more, but spending less. Building wealth is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's a process that demands time, dedication, and a systematic approach. According to Stanley and Danko, millionaires can be classified into two types, prodigious accumulators of wealth, or PAWs, and under-accumulators of wealth, or UAWs. The distinction between these groups lies in their commitment to saving and investing. PAWs are those exceptional individuals who manage to accumulate wealth at a rate far greater than the average. UAWs, on the other hand, are those who earn high incomes but have a small net worth, often due to high consumption lifestyles. So how do you know which category you fall into? Stanley and Danko provide a simple formula in their book. They suggest multiplying your age by your realized pre-tax annual household income and then divide by 10. This is not the end-all be-all, but it's a good starting point. Remember, wealth accumulation is a journey, not a destination. True wealth is not about how much you show, but how much you grow. This idea is central to understanding the mindset of a millionaire. Rather than flaunting their wealth, they prioritize financial independence, seeking internal satisfaction over external validation. They understand that a fancy car or a big house doesn't define success. It's the security and freedom that comes with financial independence. So remember, it's not about the shiny objects you can buy, but the financial resilience you can build. So aim for financial independence, not a fancy car. Wealth is not just about the present, but also about the future. This statement rings true in Stanley and Danko's findings about how millionaires raise their children. It's not about showering them with the luxuries money can buy, but rather it's about instilling in them the value of money and the importance of financial responsibility. The book warns against Economic Outpatient Care, or EOC, which refers to the practice of providing excessive financial support to adult children. This can inadvertently cripple their ability to learn essential financial skills and to become self-sufficient. Millionaires understand this and strive to avoid falling into the EOC trap. Instead, they focus on teaching their children about frugality, savings, and investments from an early age. They encourage their children to earn their own money and to understand the importance of spending wisely. The goal is to raise responsible, financially literate adults who can effectively manage their wealth. So to leave a lasting legacy, raise children who understand the value of money. We've covered a lot, but what does this all mean for you? Let's take a step back and reflect on the key points we've discussed. The millionaires next door aren't the flashy spendthrifts we often see portrayed in the media. Instead, they're the ones who practice frugality, prioritize financial independence, and dedicate their time and energy to building wealth. They avoid economic outpatient care, raise financially responsible children, and leverage market opportunities. In essence, it's about making strategic choices, setting clear goals, and staying committed to your financial objectives. If you're aiming to increase your wealth, consider how you can incorporate these principles into your own life. Perhaps it involves creating a budget, cutting down on unnecessary expenses, or starting that side business you've always dreamed of. Remember, the secret to becoming a millionaire is not earning more, 
but spending wisely and saving consistently. Thanks for watching.